congrats, you've got a contract on your house, but you are very far away from being completely done. You cannot count on anything at all until the check from the closing attorney clears the bank because anything can happen. And my heavens, I have seen it all. Um, so inspections are going to be the first thing that you're going to have to get through. Um, and when you actually sell your house, you probably aren't thinking, what is a home inspector going to look at? Um, what do I need to prepare for? Uh, you'll find it funny that um, it, when a market changes, buyers are looking for reasons to back out. And uh, you would think they'd be looking for you know, reasons to um, uh, solidify their decision in, in buying it. But no, you do have that sense of buyer's remorse. What have I done? Uh, and so they're going to start looking at everything with more critical eye than they did when they first saw the house and fell in love with it. Um, this is human nature, right? We're never going to be able to work against human nature. We always have to work with it. So you need to have certain things done and prepared with your house to get ready for those inspections. Um, like one, cleaning your air filter, or even go ahead and having your HVAC serviced so that there's not an issue there, right? Like if there's anything wrong with that um, HVAC system or furnace, um, you've taken care of it before a home inspection gets there because home inspector is going to say, if it's 10 years old, it's going to say, oh, it's at the end of its life. And I've seen 40 year old HVAC systems still working properly, uh, but they can tend to go out after 10 years. That could really scare a potential home buyer. Um, they will oftentimes come in and ask for, you know, eight or $10,000 less after the home inspection, even when they bid it up because they wanted it so bad before the inspection. So you've got a long way to go throughout the whole process. You've got to get through the home inspection, then you've got to get through a septic inspection. If you're on a septic tank, you've got to get through wood infestation inspections. You've got to go through title issues. You've got lots of hurdles to get through. It's great for you to have a professional on your side that can kind of help you. And actually what I pride myself on doing is I pre-sell the problems. I solve problems before they happen. And then when we get surprise problems, um, normally I'll know what to do to, to resolve that for you as well. So make sure you hire a good professional to get you through all of the steps and do not spend that money in your mind or um, for real in real life until that check clears the closing attorney's account.